getting reviews in your business is very important. The reason being it shows validity of who you are as a business. And when people are questioning, are you a valid business? Or are you just a joke? Or what's the deal with you as a business? You can point to the reviews and you can show them that, hey, look, we have 150 reviews and people are saying great things about our business. People also, when they look for things in a business, they look for reviews and they see, if they see you with 150 reviews versus the photographer with 10 reviews, they're going to make it, they're going to think that you're more valid than the person with 10 reviews. So how do you get reviews? Getting reviews is simple and it's a lot easier than you think. You just have to put a little bit of effort into it and get, make sure you get those reviews. We used to do a lot with Facebook reviews and all that kind of stuff, but I'll be honest with you. I don't think Facebook reviews are as uh, good as something like a Google review. Google reviews are great because it not only helps with uh, your Google search stuff. So if somebody's like trying to improve their SEO, but it also um, it, it builds your reputation on the Internet. Right, so if you're just doing Facebook reviews, the only place that anybody ever sees that is when they are on Facebook, but everybody's on the internet. Not everybody is on Facebook. So I would encourage you to do Google reviews. I'm gonna share with you my screen real quick and I'm gonna show you like our, we have a, a Google review page or a Google My Business page. If you don't have that, reach out to me and I can show you and help you on how to do a Google My Business page. But you want to set up a Google My Business page that there's a process to it. They'll send you a card. You have to validate it and make sure that you're a legit business and all that stuff. But then you can start collecting reviews for your business. Right here, you can see in our business here in Houston, we also have a page for both our New York studio and our Houston studio. We currently have 128 reviews. I didn't take reviews seriously until about six months ago. So when we started doing the, what I'm about to show you six months ago, our reviews started to take off. Um, and we can, I'll be honest, we can still do better at this, right? So uh, when you go into your reviews, what's great is you can see that when people talk about like dogs or studio or patience or personality or, you know, all the different things that you're doing, when they say that, it starts tagging these words and it says, oh wow, 33 times somebody said dogs, some 19 times somebody said uh, studio. You can direct people and ask them, please talk about our studio. Please mention that you did a dog session with us. Please mention that you did a family session with us. Uh, and, and if they say, oh my gosh, your photographer was so patient with us, or you guys have been so patient with us, could you please mention that in your review? Because they'll use that word. And when people say, oh, they're patient, let's see all the reviews about patience. The photographer was patient and kind with their dog, you know? Um, everywhere that the, oh that's our response sorry um good with him he was patient with him and gave him treats uh personable and patient and that's what's important yes the photography needs to be great don't get me wrong but what people really want is they want to feel like they are taken care of and they can see it in the review if people write reviews that say those things so make sure you're doing that Getting reviews, like I said, is easy. There's a couple of different ways that we do it. One, you can just go up here where it says, click, get more reviews. It's gonna give you a link and you just share that link with your clients. So at the end of a sales session, we'll text them and say, hey, would you mind doing us a quick Google review about your experience with, uh, with our studio? Or you could do it after the session, whenever. You can do it at different points of the session itself uh, or, or the, the process. I would do it after the session, not before they come in, obviously. But um, send them that link. The other way you can do it is take that link, find a QR code um, generator, Put that link in a QR code generator and have a QR code that you can put like on a print or something that they can just scan in your studio or have it so that you can just pull it up on the screen if you're doing a Zoom sale or um, if you're doing in-person sales, you can put it on your big screen when you're at the end of the sale and said, hey, you guys are awesome clients. We really enjoyed having you in the studio. Something that could really help us out if you wouldn't mind doing it is could you scan that code right there and give us a quick Google review? We would love it. It really helps our business. It helps with uh, validation of our business and it also helps with uh, our SEO, which helps uh, show people who we are and what we do. So that's all you have to say. And nine times out of 10 people are like happy to do it. And they're like, absolutely. So they can scan it. And then a few minutes later, you get a notification that 
you have a new Google review. So what are you waiting for? Why aren't you getting reviews? Are you afraid to ask for them? It, honestly, I was afraid at some point too, but it's not a thing to be afraid of. People want to give you reviews. People want to tell people about what uh, their experience with you, if they had a great experience. If somebody walks in your door and hands over two to $3,000 to you for their portrait experience, you better get the review from them because they are the perfect client to tell people about who you are and what you do. So I hope this is helpful and I hope after you hear this that you're encouraged to go out and get more Google reviews.